Okay, now let's move on to practice problem 2.10. And again, we are asked to find the equivalent circuit. Okay, let's start from this one first. That the first one that I see here. We have a 20 ohm and 5 ohm resistor connected in parallel. So from here, I will have 20 ohm parallel with 5 ohm. And this will be 20 multiplied by 5 divided by 20 plus 5. Or this is 100 divided by 25 and that is 4 ohm. And that 4 ohm here, so that 4 ohm is in series with this 1 ohm. So 4 plus 1 is 5 ohm. So the next step will be 4 ohm plus 1 ohm. That will be 5 ohm. And then this 5 ohm, yeah, as you can see here, 5 ohm, it is parallel with this 20 ohm resistor. So I will have, what is it, 5 ohm parallel with 20 ohm. And that will be equal to 4 ohm again, right? So, is all of this will combine into one single resistor of 4 ohm. And then, what can we do from here? What can we do from here? Okay, let's redraw this. So. I think we need to redraw this. Yeah. Okay, we have that 16 ohm. 16 ohm. And then we still have that vertical resistor of 9 ohm. And then we still have the 2 ohm resistor here. Okay, we still have 2 ohm here. But from all of this, we form a single resistor of 4 ohm. Yeah, single resistor of 4 ohm. And then we still have this diagonal. Resistor here, which is 18 ohm, and it is connected to port B, and it is sorted with this one. Okay, that means that we have this 18 is parallel with 9. So let's calculate that 18 with 9. So 18 ohm parallel with 9 ohm. So we we'll have 18 multiplied by 9 divided by 18 plus 9 so to, to make this calculation easier I just leave it as it on the top and then on the bottom this is 27 right so we have this cancelled and all of this will cancel in 6 ohm so I can erase this all of this and replace replace it with 6 ohm Okay, this is 6 ohm and this is still connected to B. From here we can see that this is in series with this one so and then parallel with this one so we have 6 and 6 in parallel so 6 and 6 in parallel that will equal to 6 times 6 divided by 6 plus 6 and 36 divided by 12 is 3 ohm and lastly we will have this kind of resistor 16 ohm and then we have this one all of this s3 ohm and lastly we have rab it's just that two resistor in series which is 16 ohm plus 3 ohm 
So we will have the RAB is equal to 19. And this is the same answer with the answer given. Okay, I think this is enough for practice problem 2.10. Let's move on to 